वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग जर्नी विद प्रिज्म आई एम हर्ष एंड आई एम थ्रिल टू हैव यू हेयर फॉर अनदर ट्यूटोरियल वेयर वी डाइव डीप इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्रिज्म सो फार वी हैव कवर्ड प्रिज्म पावरफुल फीचर लाइक रीजन्स मॉडुलर आर्किटेक्चर कमांडिंग डायलॉग सर्विस इवेंट एग्रीगेटर एंड नेविगेशन एंड टू वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट नेविगेशन कॉल बैक एंड हाउ टू पास द पैरामीटर टू द नेविगेशन बिफोर वी डाइव इन इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड टर्न ऑन नोटिफिकेशन so that you will stay updated on all the latest prism tutorials in last video i have upgraded my project from .net framework 4.8 to .net 8 so from now onward i will use visual studio 2022 with support .net 8 now without wasting the time let's get started we already learn how to navigate to the view so for navigation we use request navigate method from here also we can pass the callback method what is the callback method here like if we want to navigate to some view and want to show something after completion of the navigation then we can use the callback method here let's add callback function here here i will say navigation completed let's create this method generate the method and here i want to show the message box message box dot so and i want to so navigation to i will pass the view name here and i will say navigation to view is completed and here i will use this result from here we can get the name of the view result dot context dot uri okay which will give the name okay here i have to pass here and here i will add dollar symbol like this okay now let's run and see Now let's click on navigate to first view. You can see here navigation to first view view is completed, right? That is what we are showing from here. So if you want to perform some operation on the completion of navigation, we can use callback method. And now we will see how to pass the parameter to the navigation. So for now I will comment this and I will send the parameter here. Okay. For that we have the class called navigation parameter. Okay. I will create the object here and then I will add some parameter to this. class dot add and here i will say the parameter name i will say name and then the value i will say this is data meters okay now instead of passing this callback method we can use this parameter we have one method which will accept the parameter so now we can pass this parameter to our view now the question is how to get this parameter in the view so for that i will go to the view model of the first view i will create the view model for this i will add here first view model Okay I will make it public and here we have to implement i navigation aware interface okay let's add the name space for this which is prism dot region i will remove this okay now implement this method these are the method available in i navigation aware okay so what is the use of this method this method will call on the navigation to the view so if we want to perform some operation on navigation we can write the code here okay now as we want the parameter on the navigation so i will write the code for getting that parameter inside this method how to access this we'll say param equal to navigation dot parameters and here we will pass index as the name of the parameter which is name okay and it is a string so i will convert it to string okay now i will check if param not equal to null then i will show the message box dot so parameter is i will pass this param okay here for now i will return true this we will check later what is the use of this method let's run and see now let's click on navigate to first view you see parameters is this is parameters right which we are passing from this one this is the parameter this is how we can pass the parameter if we want to pass some parameter to the navigation we can pass this and we can access like this on navigate to method right to understand what each navigation target method does i will add the breakpoint here as well as this view constructor okay now let's run it now let's click on navigate to first view You can see this constructor is called right. Now again I want to click on navigate to first view. In that case is navigate target method called and it will return the true in this case. And in this case the constructor will not call okay. Now again I will click on navigate to first view and now I will skip this means it will return false. Okay and now continue. You can see the constructor is called right. means another instance of this view was created view is created right 
if we want to use the existing instance to handle the navigation request we can return true from here otherwise if we want on every navigation we want new view so we can return false from here okay this is how each navigation target works when this on navigate from method will call whenever we navigate from the current view then it will call let's see here I will first click on navigate to first view. Okay, now the view is created. Now I want to go to second view. You can see here on navigate from method is called. If you want to perform some operation on navigation to the current view, we can write the logic inside this on navigate from method. I hope you learn how to use the callback method and how to pass the parameter in the navigation. And what is the use of I navigation aware interface? That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, let's share with your friends.